Hello everybody and welcome back to She Lab Gets Lots of Money in Kitaria Fables. Yes, look at all of that getting sold. We now have 20,000 in the bank. Lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Very happy with that. So, we do still have a few things to sell because the sell box got so full yesterday we didn't have any room left. And we're not quite ready yet uh, to uh, still. I'm gonna still sell the honey, I think. I can always grab more. Like as long as I know where it comes from, I can always grab more if I need it of something. And the snowflakes. So just for just in case you wondered, once we have twenty-five thousand in the bank, which is actually really not very far off, I'm just gonna go and kill probably the snake and greed and uh, sell their various bits because I've got I've got what I need I'm gonna get the, the cursed bow so in my, my chest over there I've got enough all we need is two moonstones two scales and like 4,400 more Let's have a look here oh actually it must be back in my other chest sorry I don't know why I'm keeping that on me, but never mind. Anyway, let's talk to Timmy. Timmy's got something for us to, to do today. Hello, how can I help? You bought the flowers? Please wait for a moment. I need to inspect it. Ah, yes, this is for the sore throat problem quest. Hmm, it looks perfectly edible. This should be okay. Please give it to Miss Apple. Hey, it's actually pretty fun doing experiments like this. It, it reminds me of my time as a student at the academy. All right, so now we've got to see Miss Apple, who luckily is like right next door. Is it done? Thank you very much, dear. Oh, really? Timmy enjoyed it. Perhaps I should ask him to assist with my experiments in the future. We shouldn't tally any longer. I will make the herbal tea right away. It smells wonderful. This would be perfect for your nose and throat when you're feeling unwell. Here, please give this to Chief Oliver. I hope he gets well soon. So I think quite a few things unlocked with that. So um, the herbal tea recipe, which is honey and tulips. And I think then actually tulips and something else it was tulips and sunflower seeds once I complete the throat problem quest. So I need to give that into Oliver first and then they will be unlocked. So all of the farming stuff will be unlocked once I do this and, and it might actually give me, I'll tell you if it does, it might give me the achievement for doing all the side quests at this point. We'll have to see. Hello, how's it going? Probably like, hello, how's it going? Because <laughs> he's got a sore throat. I don't like to do voices like that anymore because I've, I've ruined my own voice doing voices like that in the past. Herbal tea? Smells good. Hmm, tastes good too. I should ask Kiki to get some flower seeds so we can make this more often. Thank you, kids. I think my throat will be okay after a couple of days drinking this tea. Lovely. I've got a wind sphere, so let's go and hand that, put that in my box. I am just saving everything up right now. Um, or should I take them? Mm. Right, we're gonna go to Sage Albies quickly, because I do need to see him next anyway. So we need to speak to him anyway as part of the main quest, but also I want to have a good look through all of the, uh, all of the magic spells. Although what will probably happen is we'll talk to him, I'll get completely confused and forget to check the spells, but you never know, I might remember. Do, 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 do. I've enjoyed playing this. I've enjoyed like I've enjoyed the grindy side of it a bit, but like I think I'm kind of glad that that side is over now, mostly. Unless I decide I want to get the sword that uh, Pumpkin sells. Okay, Sage Alby, we did a thing. I need to know. Sage, we bought. Huh? Where is he? It's weird, he rarely leaves his cottage. Maybe he's somewhere nearby. Let's go find him, Nian. Where's the sage? Okay, but before we do that, before we go find him, let's just have a quick look at the spells we need to do. So we need to do searing crown. So we need talisman and four fire things. We need 
Oh, I just sold one of those. A, tur a turtle shell and four water. We need a talisman, two miracle fruit. And seven wind. And then we need five amber. Did I not keep the amber for that? I swear I did. Or did Heaven's Drive require amber? No, it didn't. So maybe I have got the amber for that. And five, five earth spheres. So four fire, four water, five earth and seven wind. Okay, I'll promptly forget that, no doubt. But I've got one of each spell to learn and two wind spells. So I still need to be keeping all the different kinds of spheres. Just, just so I know that. I thought I had all the water spells, but I clearly didn't. Right, let's have a look and see what it says here. Look around the forest or the tunnel. Maybe he's collecting materials for a new spell. Okay. So let's go and have a look for him. When we're While we're around here, we can uh, do the orc boss as well. Say, Jalby, are you here? And we can do Drakafi while we're down, uh, if we do go to the mountain tunnel as well, so. It's quite handy. Doing a bit of our boss run at the same time. And I need a turtle shell. I think a turtle shell is the only boss thing that I saw there that I needed to unlock stuff, so. That is quite nice. So if I maybe go and get that particular um, that particular spell unlocked, then I know that all I need is like spheres and just basic stuff to unlock the rest. I would love it if I wasn't stunned. That would be so good. Okay, well I've not seen Sage Albi so far, so I'm thinking he'll either be in the Guardian Forest or he will be in the Mountain Tunnel. One of these two areas. I need to remember to change my wings before I do any serious fighting as well. So far I'm pretty good in these wings. But if I, if I go against any bosses, and sometimes I just need to put those wings on just to get the heals, you know? Yeah, do I wonder if I did keep that amber because if I didn't, I need to come here and just do a load of stuff. Hmm. Well, I'm not seeing him around here. Uh, forest golems. Just making sure because this was one of the areas where they thought he might be. I will check up the steps just on the off chance that this is the part of the quest that unlocks that. It is not, so that's fine. Oh, it doesn't let me go down there. How dare it. So we'll head over to the mountain tunnel and see if we can find him in there. Probably wouldn't take me long to do the fighting, but, you know. Well, I'll probably kill Dracuffy while we're in there. Might kill the Crystal Guardian at some point today. Ah, here he is. Where's the sage? Sage, what are you doing here? Did we get the relics back in the end? Oh, it's you. I hadn't heard any news from you. I was beginning to worry. Is everything okay? Well, sort of. We managed to retrieve the relic from the crystal cave. That's good news. Please hand it over. Uh, yeah, sure. This is great. Thank you so much for your help. With this, I'll be able to perform the rite sealing the power away. Please meet me at my cottage tomorrow. Uh, Sage? What is it? We're doing the right thing, aren't we? Of course, this is for the greater good. I suggest you take some rest. You must be exhausted. See you tomorrow. Oh. Okay, so we've got to wait till tomorrow. So, yeah, if we're waiting for tomorrow, I may as well uh, get all the stuff I need for my, my bow then. I guess. That's what we're going to do. Right, so let's go to South Sand Dune. If we go and kill... No, actually. 
That's for my spell, remember? I wanted to go and get Turtle Boss, and he's just around here, so. Let's go get him first. And then we'll use the teleporter over there to go down to the south dunes, and we'll just go and get, grab um, Snake Boss and Greed, sell their stuff. That should be plenty to get the bow upgrade. And then and then it's really cool. And then I've just got to have a little look at what I need for all the different kinds of uh, spells. So we'll start with this water spell that I'm getting the turtle shell for. Uh, it's very annoying when I get in their way, isn't it? No need for it either. I'll stick on my other wings for Turtle Boss. Uh, I won't worry until I get there. I have a lot of health in this armor, so... But the armor plus the lifesteal is a... Is a pretty much a winner in most situations but like I say the only situation where I found that that hasn't really worked for me has been with Hazel because she she was a glass cannon she was super tanky uh sorry not yeah super tanky was she what yeah she was actually I don't know how tanky she was because like that meteor took her out for most of her health so she can't have had more than like a couple of thousand I don't think the gooeys are gonna go for me, but uh, these flower guardians, they're a nightmare. Come here, you little, you little cheater. Okay, that's everyone around the lake sorted. I wonder if these would become like flowers that I could pick. I, I got a feeling those flowers that I picked are probably a one-off though for the quest. Oh yeah, I said I was going to change my wings, didn't I? I better not die now. I just wanted to get some of my health back. Meh. I just don't see the point in um, go boss this easy and using all my mana. Something else might come up later and I'll need it, so. I could get him gone with like literally one, one little boof, but it's fine. With one boof from my spell. So let's have a look. Got our turtle shell, so that's awesome. Um, so I'm gonna head down to the sand dunes now and just quickly grab those two those two dudes I need and then we'll maybe go up to Sage Albi's place um, and trade in I think it's four waters so I'm gonna just slowly start trading them in for spells and slowly start finishing off all the different um, spells that I need because not that I'll probably use a lot of them <laughs> I just want them for like my collection <laughs> at this point I've done so much grinding, I'm like, why why not do a little bit more and get all the, all the spells and get that uh, achievement? So, we want to go back to South Sand Dune. Kill Snake. Kill Greed. If I can do that, that'll be enough for my bow. Because that'll be 3,000 for the scales. In fact, I probably probably don't even need to kill Greed at this point. Oh, change his wings over. Yeah, I probably don't even need to kill Greed at this point. Um, I think probably with the bits and pieces that are in my inventory, the leaves and, and insect wings and... Oh, we've actually got a sunstone. No, I really don't need to kill Greed. <laughs> That's 4,000 on its own. I then only need 400. But if I want any money at all, then we should kill Greed. So, I don't know. Probably 
somebody should change my wings over again. When I'm fighting normal stuff, it's fine to change them over mid-fight. Especially with them, like, at the very start of my inventory now. It's a kind of a big help. Um, seems to be someone over there. There's a hyena running towards me here. Just to get them out of the way. And I'll probably sell all the stuff that, they, that they've got and stuff. That they're dropping. And then... So 3,000 will get us to 2, uh, 2,400. No, sorry, 2, 24,633. So then I only need like another 400. So honestly, I've got that in my inventory already. Kill this guy. Dodge my spells. I don't think so. Hey, there's this. There's the, the snake scale that we were after. Probably have to kill a couple of things on the way back just to get my health up. This is why. This is how I, I'm able to not use any food or healing spells or anything. <laughs> Thank you. That's my health back. Let's change my wings over. And run fast. And that way. Da 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 da. da. Maybe I can get through here with full mana and full health without uh, having to worry about it. So yeah, we'll go back. We'll put all the stuff in the cell box. We'll go up to Sage Albies and we'll just see how many spells I can maybe grind up today by the end of the day. But I think I've done all the boss fighting I need to do today, so it's going to be a case of um, seeing how many souls I can get, how many spells I can get with all the stuff I've got, so let's, uh... I believe it's only stuff... Yeah, it's only, like, spells, spells stuff in there, basically. So I'll take all the talismans, I'll take all of the, all of the, um, spheres. I'll make sure I have at least four water spheres. I'll see if I, see how... Oh! You! <gasps> it's Jet! Jet is back! What are you doing here? How do you know where we live? Shh, calm down, cousin. I didn't come to fight. It's just... Cousin, do you understand what we are? What do you mean? <sighs> you really don't remember how and why you were created. What? What are you talking about? Have you never considered the purpose of your life? My life? Why is my life any different from anyone else's? Hey, you kid, care to explain to this roundish friend of yours, please? You don't know either? <sighs> Fine, allow me to explain. You and I are... How should I put this? We are a magic wielder's guardian. Pain Thunderbun assigned you to be this kid's guardian. He created us to protect his own family and another family. The Dubslain family. I apologise if that is if there's another um, pronunciation to that name. I'm saying it dubs lane, but there's it's probably like Irish or something. It's probably pronounced completely different or something like that. So apologies if that's wrong. Um, Commander Hazel, 
That's right, Hazel is also a magic wielder, but she refuses to master her power. She believes she can protect anyone she loves on her own. She is fighting a prodigy. Sorry, she is a fighting prodigy, and she's worked tirelessly to achieve it. So Commander Hazel chose to be assigned to Rivero Fortress, only to arrest us. You're too fast to judge, cousin. It's true that she's chosen to fight this calamity in her own way, but she never intended to harm anyone innocent. I wasn't lying to you, however. We have the same purpose, you and I, to protect those with the power and let others know that magic can be used for good. Then why did you attack us and try to take the relic? That's... complicated. I'll let Hazel explain that to you. I have no authority over those decisions. That's the reason I'm here. I want you to meet with Hazel before things get worse. She's still recovering from our last battle, so you'll probably find her in the Rivero Inn. I also want to apologise for my behaviour the other day. I did what I did to protect her as a guardian. Um, you of all should understand how I feel, right, cousin? I'll get going. I love how they're the guardians, but I do all the, like, Nyan does all the fighting. <laughs> and so does Hazel. I'll leave some of my power to you, cousin. You can use it if you ever feel you're in a dire situation. I... Wait! Nyan, I... I understand. We'd better go meet Commander Hazel. I need an explanation. Poor Macaron. Okay, so we are going to, to do what I wanted to do first before we go and do that, because obviously there's loads of stuff going on now. And I just want to get these last little bits of magic tidied up and the last little bits of uh, of upgrades tidied up. Oh, I think I wanted to go to my box and I got interrupted on the way over there, which is always a terrible thing for me, as you might know. Um, so let's put the all the bits and pieces in there, except for the turtle shell. All the rest can go in. And then obviously we're going to keep the vengeful souls because uh, I may need them for making wind spheres and things. So yeah, so I think it's a, is it a wind or water sphere? There's fire, water, wind, earth is it? Yeah, it's water I need. I need four water. So we've already got two. I'm just going to take all of these out though. We've already got two. We need another two. So let's go to Timmy's shop and make two more. I don't have a ton of vengeful souls, so I might not be able to quite make everything. But we'll do what we can. to go and fight Dracuffy a million times and try and get like different souls off them and things. Who does water? Like, I know I get wind off Chompy. And I get fire off the... well sometimes I anyway, get fire off the uh, orc. I know I get wind off the snake as well. Greed drops fire and earth I think. So. We've got the stuff for a frost vortex now. Again, just learning it for the sake of it. Now, if I could get another three um, fire spheres, I could get that searing thing. Uh, I already have enough to get howling wind, so let's get howling wind. So I need three more uh, of the wind spheres. Three more earth. And three more fire. Ah, nightmare. I only have three, uh, three's worth. So I need to decide which one I want. I get wind spheres all the time when I'm killing snake and things like that, so... I'll go and see if I've got the amber for it. I'll go and make an earth spell. Um, so that was two spells picked up. So if I've got the amber for it, I'll do the, the earth spell. If I don't, I'll do the fire spell. I think that's going to be the easiest way around it. Because I can't remember if I've got the amber or not. I do intend by the end of this run to try and get all of the spells though. I need to get vengeful souls off things. I remember getting quite a lot from... Mm. I, 
think the sand dunes. I think you get quite a lot of the sand dunes, so maybe I just need to go around there killing all the hyenas. Okay, so I need to go all the way down to the full-on farm because I think I may have stashed some amber there with the express purpose of... Although I might have sold it, I'll have to check. But I think I may have left it there with the express purpose of getting this spell, so let's see. Zero amber there, okay. Oh, there it is. Got it. Yes, we do have the amber. So let's go and get three uh, earth spheres and get that spell because I'm less, li I'm more likely to be able to get the talismans if I if I accidentally sell the talismans or something. Do you know what I mean? I'd rather get the thing that I'm less likely to accidentally sell the components for. So let's use my mumble mumble. I didn't see you. I didn't need anything. Timmy always eating. I don't know. Let's get three Earth Spheres. So then I just need some Wind and Fire Spheres and I can get those from certain bosses anyway. I think Freddy might drop a Fire Sphere as well. So I expect if I do all the bosses and do another bus boss run again, I'll probably have enough Spheres to do everything. Equally, if I get enough like Vengeful Souls I'm just randomly killing monsters then that will work too so I need about 60 of them or a mixture a mixture of the spheres and the uh, and the vengeful souls and we are very close to getting all the spells unlocked and then tomorrow morning we'll get the uh, there we are that's seismic impact so that's all of the earth ones done So now we need healing wind, so three earth, so three wind spheres, and three uh, thingy spheres. And I also need two miracle fruits, so maybe we should just quickly go and kill the gooey boss. So I've got a miracle fruit, and then obviously then when I've got enough to upgrade, then I will... Uh, that will be fine, so... I don't know, do I go and kill a couple of bosses or something, you know, while I'm, while I'm waiting? Or do I just go to sleep for the night and uh, progress the story? Or do I just go and try and grind up Vengeful Souls? Because the problem is I need like 90, I need, no, I need 60 of them now. Remember how hard this guy used to be. <laughs> okay, I think actually because we are kind of getting close to Rivero Fortress here. Right by Riverfield. I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to go and kill the Orc Warrior. See if I get a fire sphere for that. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Depends. But I will kill all the ads today because they sometimes drop. Vengeful souls. They're probably not going to today because uh, that's just my life, isn't it? There's a chest up there that I've never opened. 100 poor pennies in it. I think I could probably survive without that though. Where's their boss today? They tell me I've already killed him. Maybe I have. Maybe I'm just that efficient. I didn't think so though. Where's your boss? I must have already killed him today. 
just too efficient. Yeah, we'll head over to Rivero Fortress and we'll see what Hazel has to say. This is so interesting and exciting. I can always do a boss run in the morning. I'll have my bow in the morning. And then, like I say, we are then just waiting. <laughs> Anyone that fancies dropping some, some nice stuff. I could kill Freddy and Chompy and see if either of them drop one. I think Chompy actually has a good chance of dropping one. And Chompy is a piece of cake nowadays. It used to be difficult, not difficult no more. Okay, let's go and see what Hazel's got to say though, because I'm super interested. Hey Celine! Hello, you are Nyanza. Am I right? Will you lend me a hand? Yes. I heard you helped repair that bridge. Um, I'm ever so thankful. Say, would you lend me a hand? It's been so long since I received any news from my siblings. They live not too far from here. My oldest sibling is in Mountain Field, and the youngest is at Canini Beach. I'd like to meet them, but it doesn't feel like the right time to do so. If you see them, please tell them I'm working at Rivero Fortress now, and that I'm looking forward to meeting them soon. Oh, please also give this note to Pickle. He'll make you some of the dishes that I've ordered from him before. Thank you, Nianza. Take care of yourself out there. Okay. Very nice. We will still go and see Hazel before we do the side quest, though. At least, at least progress this story a little bit more. You... Jet came to you and talked about that? This place is too crowded. Meet me at Downstream River near the bridge at night. The sound of the waterfall will conceal our conversation. See you there, soldier. Okay, another secret meeting. Wow, exciting. So it's five o'clock right now, so we could go see Pickle quickly. And then as soon as it hits seven, we could go see Freddy. Like I say, I'm still looking for spheres and things, so I do still need to do a bit of a bit of killing. Um, we could also go see Chompy. Hello, brave adventurer. Did you want Pickle to cook something for you? Oh yes, Miss Celine's order. Pickle will prepare it right away. Oh no, oh no. Oh, what now? Apologies, Pickle has completely run out of meat and mushrooms. Do you perhaps have some on you? Pickle will pay for it, of course. If you don't happen to have any on you, will you help Pickle to gather some? The monsters out there are so scary. You have to go back and forth to collect everything. Is that okay? Sure. Thank you very much, brave adventurer. Pickle will make sure to pay your gathering expenses too. Okay, so. What do we need to get? Ten portobellos. Right, okay, so that I know where to get those. Dead mushroom dudes in the cave. But we're not doing that right now this second. What I want to do right now this second is to kill Chompy again. See if I can get a wind sphere. If I get any other kind of spheres from now on, then I need to uh, just sell them. Oh my good wings. A little bit poison now, thanks chomps. Chompster. Stop going at me with that stupid spell. And he's like, stop going at me with your stupid spell. It's really stupid. Probably the... Ow. I will take him out at this point pretty soon. Okay, uh, he dropped an earth sphere. That's fine, that's just extra money for me at this point. So wind spheres is probably snake. I think I've killed snake today though. But I expect that if I want the vengeful sphere, uh, the vengeful things, uh, the, 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 the sand dunes are going to be the place to do it. Uh, I've got six so far out of 
60. So I need 30 for each uh, each one. Got one biosphere. I think I need four though. I think I need three extra ones. Okay, so next let's go kill Freddy. Then I could... Oh, I could check my box here just in case. Sometimes I leave things in it. No, that's fine. So we'll go see Freddy. And then I could go and get some mushrooms in the cave. Because I am still trying to get through these side quests as well. They are important. Oh, I came in here too early. If you load the area before 7, it doesn't load up Freddy. Gotta wait for him. Good things come to those who wait. And Freddy, I think, might drop me a fire sphere if I'm lucky. But yeah, it was an earth sphere from uh, Chompy today. I don't know if Chompy sometimes drops a wind sphere though. Like some of them drop more than one different thing. But you can definitely get an earth sphere from Chompy. Good wings on, just checking that. Nice, the spooks dropped me here. Oh, so he has that, uh, that earth spell too. That's interesting. He has earth and fire spells. So there's a chance he might actually drop an earth crystal as well. An earth wind sphere, sorry. Or he might just drop nothing. He just dropped his moonstone today. That's fine. I'm going to kill, like, any area I go to, I'm going to try and kill all the little stuff as well. Let's go down to the graveyard and kill spooks. But I think probably my best luck is going to be in the, um... Oh, there we are. Another vengeful soul. Okay. Ow! You're up to nine now, so that was quite good. A bit slow now. <laughs> Do you have a vengeful soul? I mean, out of anybody, I imagine you guys are going to be the ones to have them, aren't you? Yes. So that got me up to, like, ten. That's not bad. Thought I saw another spook around there. Oh, yeah, I did. That's why. But yeah, they pretty much all seem to have vengeful souls on them, which is quite nice. Any more spooks around here? Maybe I should just keep reloading this area then. And just kill all the spooks. They seem to have a lot of vengeful souls on them. However, I do want to go see Hazel first. If at all possible. Oh, even that Fluffy had one. Nice. Yeah, I'll have enough in no time actually. I'm almost halfway there to the first spell that I need. And it's only two spells I want. Well, let us go downstream. But yeah, there at night seems really good for Vengeful Souls. And as I say, the hyenas are pretty good for them as well. So go down to the sand dunes in the day and kill the hyenas for them. But I just kill every small thing that I can. And I also try to get some of the bosses as well. I'll eventually get enough. I just never quite seem to get enough from what I happen to be doing anyway. Ooh. Hey, why did you choose to become a magic wielder? Did you never consider that the power might consume you? You just believed everything they said. What if the law that the former king established is intended to protect us and let us live longer? Actually, I... Commander, do you think that what we've done will bring us despair? I don't know either. I still question the path I've chosen. Ugh. Has Jet told you my story? 
No, ma'am. They said it'd be better to hear it from you. It's a long story. Back in the academy days, your grandfather and my grandparents were friends. As you know, your grandfather was a magic wielder, and so was my grandmother. The three of them were there when the first calamity happened. Together with their colleagues at the Royal Academy, they worked hard to find a power that could suppress corrupted monsters. Everything seemed to be working, until the king discovered their plan. Rather than thanking them for their hard work, the king confiscated their research from anything related to magic. The researchers and magic wielders were accused of bet betraying the kingdom and were arrested. Our grandfathers tried their best to save as many people as they could. But my grandmother was arrested. Oh no! It was devastating for my grandfather. He was unable to forgive himself. Payne Thunderbun was also affected by the news. But he kept telling my grandfather that they should live to fight for the greater good. He was sure that the day when magic was accepted by the people would come soon. Eventually their opinions differed and they parted ways. Payne Thunderbun lived the rest of his life as a farmer in Poor Village while my grandfather went missing. Until recently. I've discovered some news. You've met him? No, my grandfather doesn't even know I'm here. Perhaps he doesn't even care and views me as just another of the Empire's subjects. But you, you have met him. What? Oliver? Maybe? Uh. Albie? We've met your grandfather? Who? The Sage. Is Sage Albie your grandfather? Yes. Albinus Dubslane, the person you know as Sage Albie, is my grandfather. I bet he never told you his real name. What? Why? How? What's the meaning of this, Mum? I knew you were a magic wielder as far back as when you were an apprentice in the Royal Guard. I heard it from Payne Thunderbun. He sometimes wrote letters to me to persuade me to be his apprentice. He saw some potential in me and told me I could be a great wielder, even better than him. Of course, he also wanted someone reliable enough to teach his grandchild about magic. Just in case he couldn't do it himself. Despite that, he cared about me as if it was his own granddaughter. He felt an obligation to look after me, after my grandfather went missing. As for my grandmother, well... I haven't heard of anybody surviving after being arrested by the Empire. Commander! I'm sorry to hear that. May I ask you something? Are you mad at us for working behind your back? Do you perhaps dislike your grandfather? I did, but Payne Thunderbun reminded me that whatever he may have become, deep down inside, he was still my grandfather. He loves me very much. Now, though, I'm afraid he might do something reckless. That's why I've interrupted your progress collecting the relics. Please, you need to save my grandfather. We can't let the darkness consume him. The darkness? What do you mean? He charged you with collecting the relics, am I correct? The truth is, and I'm sorry to say it, you've been deceived. He doesn't intend to seal away the power, but release it and harness it for himself. No! That can't be! You're the manifestation of magic. You of all people should have at least... should have at least sensed something suspicious about him. What is... What is happening? Oh no! Grandfather! Why did it have to be this way? We're too late. He's going to unleash the seal. We must get to the Forgotten Shrine and stop him. Hurry! Oh, the Forgotten Shrine. I wonder where that is. What is happening? I really hope... I don't know what's going on here, but... Um... Go to... The skies have turned red. How can this be? Is, Sa Sage, is this Sage Albie's doing? Did he manage to unleash the relic's true power? We need to follow Han uh, Commander Hazel quickly. <sighs> okay, I guess we've got good spells and stuff. Right, okay, so let's just head firstly, just in case, because I've got quite a full inventory right now. Back to Poor Village. And we'll just unload my inventory quickly. And make sure that I've got enough for the, the, the tasty bow in the morning. Although this might end up being the end or whatever. Um, if it's not. Then I'd like to know about it. But I do kind of feel that I need to carry on for a bit. So we'll extend the episode a, t a teeny bit just to go to the forest sanctuary. I think this might be a fight with... Uh, with Sage Albie. 
possibly. That could be quite bad. Alright, so I can actually start selling earth ones. I don't think I'm making apple pies anymore. I'm going to be honest with you. Keep the miracle fruit at the moment because I need that for some bits and pieces. Oh, we're keeping meat though. Oh no, it wasn't. Oh yeah, because I th he might ask for meat after. He said that he had no meat and no mushrooms. So let's just do that. Cool. Sell those vengeful flowers. Oh, okay. I got plenty of money though for tomorrow. Plenty. So I'll put the rest of the stuff into my chests and then we'll then we'll go and, and do the do the thing. I'm putting those wings away. They're just clogging up my inventory and I don't need them right now anyway. Um I'll keep the I'll throw all of those uh, magic-y bits on the, in the chest on the way past, I'll keep, uh, including the miracle fruit. Um, I'll put those in there, put those in there. Keep... Put the meat in the food chest. That's what we're going to do with that. Okay, I think we're good now. But I kind of feel like with the big red sky, I kind of need to go and uh, defeat... Defeat Albus and uh, um, Albi even Albinus. Hey pumpkin, pumpkin's got their shop open too. Or do I sleep? Get the bow upgrade because this could be a big a big fight, right? I imagine the sky will still be red in the morning, right? Yeah, let's let's give it a sleep and see if there's the... Because if Pumpkin is there, the likelihood is the other traders will be there in the morning and I'll be able to get my bow upgrade. I've been waiting for that for so long. I know. She lab is sleeping on the job. I don't imagine, though, that it's going to change much. Yeah, the music's all still the same. But there's just some things I want to do, so... I feel like having a good bow, all the good spells, and a good sword might give me a chance if I've got a big fight coming up, so... That's the deal with that. So we need uh, two Moonstones. Rainbow scale. And the bow, obviously, which I do have on me. Cool. And then we'll quick slot the cursed bow. I do believe the pumpkin shop is different depending on where pumpkin is as well. There we are. Best bow in the game, bow of heroes, achievement unlocked. Let's make sure that's shortcutted onto there. Lovely. I, should, I really should have probably shortcut my wings now, but oh well. Okay, so to the guardian forest. And we will see what's going on there. And this might be an hour long episode, but uh, oh well. I can only imagine it's what's up the stairs in the, in the forest. Right. Forest Sanctuary, Hazel is here. What is happening? Oh, it's bad. He's already entered the Forgotten Shrine. What is that? Why is the colour of the sky changing? Oh, this is why he wanted us to meet him tomorrow. He needed the evening to do his nefarious stuff. Look here, soldiers. We're dealing with some unknowns right now, but we have to act fast. You have to pursue him and enter the shrine. Only those who have accepted their fate as a magic wielder can enter. And how did he access the shrine? The, sh the sage said he wasn't a magic wielder. He has the relics. You gave them to him, right? You must hurry. Take as many supplies as you can and equip yourself with the best equipment you have, but don't take too long. Don't get reckless, soldiers, and please save him. 
We'll try our best, Commander. You have to come out of this alive, cousin, no matter what. That's our duty, after all. Yes, I will. You can count on me. Good luck. I'll pray for your safety. Okay, I will try my best. Come on, Jet. We have to make way for them. Aye, Your Highness. May the light shine bright in your path. Okay. Well, we'll go in and give it a try. Because, like... So, preparing for the last. I feel like I already did preparing for the last. But, uh... Talk to Macaron at Forest Sanctuary. Well, where's Macaron? Oh, there. Hello! Are you ready to enter the shrine? Make sure you have sufficient supplies and good equipment at the ready. There's no going back until we've uh, defeated the sage. Are you ready? Yeah? Okay, let's go. Let's hope we make it out of this. I think I'm pretty well equipped. I've got my lifesteal wings on. I've got all my good spells on. Forgotten Shrine 1F. You shouldn't be here. Who's that? You don't belong here. Who are you? Show me your face. Leave. Before it's too late. What? Ugh, I guess they just can't leave us alone. Be careful, Nyan. Okay, so I've got to defeat two two bosses in here. Okay, I think at this point we are going to probably make that into another episode. I am going to pause the game while I do whatever I need to do, and then we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna come back next time because I'm gonna just get rid of these bugs first. There you are, so I can just. So I can just talk to you guys. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave it for now because it sounds to me like we've got a couple of bosses to defeat and then probably Sage Albion and then maybe some other stuff might come up. So it's going to be probably at least one more episode depending on how well I do against these bosses. So I'm going to just uh, leave it there and we're going to do the rest of this dungeon next episode. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.